In this week's Mommy Minute, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and that's especially true to keep kids alert and energized for a full day at school. But what should we be putting on their plates? The two big things would be protein and fiber. Both of those things are going to provide them with fuel and energy to get through the day, but then also make that energy long lasting, which is what they really need in order to get to lunchtime. So how do we get protein and fiber when we don't have a lot of time in the morning? One idea from giant nutritionist Shana Schultz, frozen Kodiak pancakes or waffles. They are packed with whole grains and a lot of protein. You can also find protein based yogurt drinks or smoothies. But with those, as with cereals and granola bars, added sugar is always the concern. Read the labels. Make sure there are less than eight grams of added sugars. Those added sugars, we really don't want to rely on those types of sugars for energy, right? We want to rely on natural sugars in foods like your whole grains and your fruits to power us through the day where those added sugars can kind of actually sluggish, you know, make us feel a little sluggish throughout the day. And if you're worried about finding a cereal or granola bar that's under that magic number of eight grams of added sugar that your kids will actually eat, bring them with you. Have them help you read the labels and let them make the choice. That can often eliminate breakfast time food battles. Shana says the bottom line is that breakfast doesn't have to be fancy. It simply has to be something healthy and balanced that they will actually eat. With this week's Mommy Minute, I'm Allie Lanyon.